Hello again, everybody. Um, came across a good diagram about um, PCM, which is computer boards. And this is from the book that I had over 25 years ago in school, in, in uh, Lincoln Tech, going for automotive. I think it's very, very helpful and informative. Not because of just the pin numbers and you see the sensors going to it, but on the bottom of it, it'll probably be hard to see, it tells you what pin, see these pins that are inside the power train control module, what they do, what they, where they're connected to, and also the color, <clears throat> see? So let's say there's 60 pins, you're looking for pin one, they call it a cavity, doesn't matter, pin one over here, pin one, <clears throat> you go to the map sensor signal, which is over here, dark red. So therefore, <clears throat> as you see over here, dark green actually, and red. So therefore, this, number one, as in any modular computer, we always need a B plus. That has not changed, it will never change. So the B plus comes from the ignition, from here, from here goes through this uh, fuse, and it goes to pin nine. Then it goes to more areas, through another uh, fuse, 10 amps, still 12 amps, volts, still, still 12 volts. It goes over here and it feeds more solenoids for EGR. Um, so anyway, these are relays, turning on the motors, the fan motors, the radiator fan motors. These are the relays turning on these injectors, which we'll get to. <clears throat> and then you have this turning on the fuel pump. This really turned on the fuel pump. Nothing has changed over the years. <clears throat> so basically the, the control module is still doing the same functions. It hasn't changed, but I just thought this very simplified. So let's say B plus, first you have B plus going into pin nine through a fuse. How much is that fuse? 10 amps. Then you have sensors. You see, you see I highlighted them in yellow. These are sensors. I went over this quite often in other uh, videos. So, see how the sensors go to pin 21. Coolant temperature sensor, pressure uh, for, for um, AC pressure, a transducer, for pin 48. As you see, TPS for pin 22. So, I think this is a good diagram for beginners to understand what's going on. And there's 12 volts over here. Follow this line over here. Also goes to these pins over here. So, again, if you're confused where it is, what it is, what the pin number denotes, come down here, find this, and then go back up. I'll try to zoom out. And then see where it is connected to. Like I said, when relays close, then the injectors get the 12 volts. Now, the other side of the injectors always go to the computer, and the computer turns the injectors on and off, on and off, on and off. That's why I think this is a very good um, diagram. Nothing, again, the, doesn't matter of the make and the model, nothing has changed. It's still the same thing. 12 volts, real relay, through the injector one side, then the other side is flip-flopped or turned on and off by the computer. Nothing has changed. Here also, oxygen sensors has to go to the computer. All these coolant temperature sensors, cam sensors, crankshaft sensors, they give signal, they give feedback to the computer. Nothing has changed. Fan motors have to be turned on by a relay from the computer. When there's a coolant temperature sensor and it's very hot, right, the fan motors turn on. Same thing, doesn't make, doesn't, that's why you always see, if you know one make and model, pretty much you'll know all of them. So, try to understand this and see what, they, what they're going through, and then you'll see injectors and this and all this. See? It tells you the pins, and it tells you this. The injectors that we just went through over here. So, this would be a V6, six cylinders, obviously. All right? So, that's why when I try to go over, I'll go over Hondas and GMs and all that. Once you know Honda, let's say Odyssey, Camrys, whatever, you pretty much know the style of it and the configurations and the diagrams. So 
it's not valuable for me to go through every single schematic of every single make and model. It'll be in the thousands, the videos. I just teach the, the basic foundation. And then you develop your skill upon that. Okay? So, knock sensor number one. Knock sensor number two. This one goes to pin 42. This one goes to pin 10. Again, the signal input goes here. Signal inputs go here to the computer. Whenever you see the sensor going here, that means sometimes it's giving, if it's two wires, see this is two wires. That means that one wire is getting a ground. That means the other wire is getting the five volts if it's two pins. And this is getting five volts. And also, the, also it's giving a signal back to the computer what's going on. So I think this is very helpful. Again, try to understand the relays, try to understand what's going on. It doesn't matter if it's 60 pins, 200 pins. The functions are still the same. Brake switch, you still have to know if the, if the, if the person is on the brake switch, pressing the brake switch. So starter relay, same thing. It goes to the starter, turn on the starter relay to turn on the starter motor. Generator field, same thing. It gets information from the generator and turns it on and off. If you know one, you'll know all of them. So I think this is a good diagram and hopefully it'll come in informative. Go to the next video.